Today we have yet another exciting update for you all about the Vernon real estate market for November of 2023 mm -hmm. and we're starting now. Whether you're a potential home buyer, a seller, or you're, maybe you're just curious about the local real estate trends, I'm Lisa Salt with Remax Vernon Salt Fowler, and I'm ready to guide you through the recent changes. Let's dive in. Let's begin with the market absorption rates. In November, we see an interesting shift. For apartments, the absorption rate climbed to 23.21% from the previous month's 15.25% probably some affordability and availability factors at play there. In October, townhouses were our star performers, if you'll remember. However, townhouses experienced a decrease to 17.65% from a robust 37.66% the month before. Land absorption fell to 1.32% from 3.83%. Yikes. That's a couple of year low. And then single family homes dropped slightly to 15.17% from 18.73%. The overall market absorption rate also decreased to 15.27% from 22.16%, signaling a shift right back to the buyer's market territory as expected. Now let's discuss the specific numbers. This November, there were 213 new listings on the market, a decrease from the 271 new listings that came on the market in October, reflecting a 21.3% decline from the previous month, but still up by 2.9% compared to the same period last year. This is what we would normally expect, really, month over month, getting close to year end. So many people just will not leave their homes on the market over the winter, even when there are so many great advantages to doing so. The total number of listings available in the North Okanagan at month end November stood at 1,149, slightly lower than the 1,189 listings last month, but significantly higher than last year's 912 listings. Let's move on now to the most exciting part, the number of sales. Everybody wants to know the number of sales. Total sales for November reached 118, down from 152 sales in October, which when you do the math is a 22.37% decrease month over month. However, a 10.28% increase from the same period last year. Of course, the market is slower. We all know that. And these numbers are just confirming what I believe everyone, well, pretty much everyone already knows. The trend for most of the year of 2023 has been thus far more listings coming on the market and fewer sales. That pretty much sums up our year. Let's just talk to the buyers for a moment. You're depressed because interest rates are up. You're right, they are up. However, that 1.9% rate that we experienced during COVID, those rates were never going to last. We have never seen them before and probably won't ever see them again. So we all have to just get past it those interest rates were only meant to stimulate the market, which it did. Now the government wants to slow the market down. How do they do this? Well, they do the opposite of what they did to stimulate the economy. Now, instead of reducing rates, they raise rates. Raising rates also fights inflation as it slows things down, it cools things off, which is exactly what is happening right now. As is always the case though, the government always tends to overcorrect. They overcorrected to stimulate and things went crazy. The busiest market we've ever seen in the history of the planet, certainly that I've ever seen in my 30 years in this business. Now they will most certainly overcorrect to slow it down. Yes, rates did not get raised on December 6th, which is the third consecutive announcement where rates haven't increased and has further signaled potential rate cuts in 2024. However, we will hear more about that on January 24th of 2024, which is the next scheduled date for announcing the overnight rate target. Remember buyers, if rates go down before you pay for your new home and fund your mortgage, you will get that revised lower rate. So now may be the time to purchase a home and have a longer possession which accomplishes a number of things. It allows time for rates to go down and it also allows time for winter to end or close to end so that everyone can just move when it's just a little bit nicer. The main message here though, is if you're expecting rates to go back down to 1.9%, well, you may be waiting forever. I will put a link to the latest memo regarding the interest rates below. Best bet is to modify your price band and buy within your means based on the rates that are currently available or Maybe you can find a seller willing to provide some seller financing instead. 
or maybe the bank will give you some cash back incentive or something. Be sure to watch our Smart Real Estate Move series video called Why Buying a Larger House in a Market Downturn Makes Sense. Okay, sellers, with increased inventory, the competition is tougher. Although sales saw a dip this month, seasonal trends tend to taper off towards year end. However, same as last month, do not make the mistake of pulling your home off the market for the winter. Anyone who canceled their listings a month ago missed out on the flurry of activity that we just experienced. Our group just sold a bunch of listings and some even with multiple offers. We never know for sure when these flurries of activities are going to happen. And sometimes there's just no reason. It just happens. You can either benefit from being on the market when they show up or miss them when they happen. Being consistent and staying the course with your home on the market all the time until it sells, adjusting your price for the market if need be, is always the best way to a successful house sale. Always. Thank you once again for joining our monthly market update video. Stay tuned for further insights. I hope to see you next month. In the meantime, have a very happy holiday season.